everyone, how are you guys doing today? So today we're going to be talking about how to make your game look more realistic with the lighting type of thing, but make it realistic. Because last time I did how to use lighting, but now we're going to be doing how to make it more realistic. So let's get right into this. So for first things first, I am going to be making a video soon on doing, a, let's see, a custom character shop. It depends. And uh, I was thinking, you know, would you guys like me to just make a tutorial series on how to make a flash game? Because uh, it's like already like I, I could do it. I just want to like get your guys confirmation, either make the flash game and then make another video on how to do a character shop or like just make a flash game. And it includes that because like, to be honest, like I'm going to be using the flash as like characters. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but first of all, let's just do this. So I'm just going to create a new one because I don't really have any realistic games I want to use. Um, so if you want to just go into the pirate island or something else that's kind of like cool, then yeah, do that. So we already talked about lighting last time, but, um, one of the main things you can do is go to workspace, I think. Where is it at? Nope, not workspace. Where did that shadow softness? Okay, so let's uh, yeah. Give me one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab what I need, and and we'll just do this. Okay, so it's gonna be something like this, where you're gonna have all these lights, and uh, this kind of has to do with lighting, to be honest. I mean, this is just gonna be a tiny tutorial. So, yeah, if you just wanna look at this and see what I'm basically looking at, I think I can change it while I'm in studio, right? Yeah. So, around four is pretty good if you'd like. I make the depth of field just, you know, you're good. Sun rays. Now, this is when you want to make sure you don't overdo it because this is when it's like, damn, I can't fucking see, bro. Like, right now, I can't see. It's so bright. So, if you want to just make it a zero, feel free to do that. Um, that's kind of the main thing. Bloom. Uh, this is the other thing. You can make the bloom. Like, you don't even have to have the bloom up. So, if I were to keep the sun rays... Let's raise those a bit more. So this makes it a bit more realistic. The bloom, though, yeah, I'm pretty right. You know, the bloom is what makes things really nice. Threshold, let's keep it down. So kind of pretty much done. Uh, I'm going to give you guys like this. I'm just going to link this as a model. Um, this kind of makes your game more realistic, but I'm going to show you one more thing about terrain. Because terrain's like something you can just do. And um, I think it's editor. I need to find it. I was trying to find it. Is it in game settings or am I just... Where is it at? Is it... I'm just trying to find it. Oh, right here. Dumb. Oh, okay. It's in workspace. So don't be stupid like me. Um... Oh, I don't need those. Uh, so click terrain. And then watercolor, you can change all of that, like all of that. Click decoration. Now, bam. Now your game's just like, what the? And this is if you have a terrain game. This is all you. Um, but, you know, like this is what I mean. So water transparency, you can turn that up, do whatever you want. Wave size, make those huge if you'd like. Wave speed, you can make them super fast. Um, make them however you like. This is what makes your game really cool. Um, custom physical properties. Let's look at that. Uh, you don't need to change that. So yeah, and then the watercolor. You know, this is when you could like be like blood, blood. This is when you can make your own water. So that's really nice. I, I like that. So let's do that and hit play and show you what it looks like now. Um, I just wanted to do a simple tutorial because I got to get all these little tiny things out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You have these huge damn waves, bro. And you can swim in them and everything. They got the reflectance. Um, the sun rays. I don't know why they disappeared now. I think it's not the right time of the day. And you can change the lighting too, like I said. But this just makes your games way more realistic. The decoration and everything like that. These grass is the main thing too. Um, this is pretty cool with the volcano. It makes it pretty nice. Let's make, let's touch it up just a bit more. Um, let's go to lighting. Ambient. You can make it white if you oh no 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 don't do that don't do that keep it you want the shadows you can make it a little bit lighter if you'd like but i'm probably yeah keep it dark brightness you can make it 
uh, let's just undo that again. <laughs> Color shift bottom, and then uh, top. So let's keep that up. Global shadows. You want to keep that on. That makes the game really nice. Outdoor ambient. Let's make it like darker, like again. Um, shadow map. You could do compatibility. That makes it pretty nice. That makes it, like I said, I forgot to tell you guys we did this in my last tutorial on making your game look realistic. So like future, man, this is, well, that's kind of cool. What is that? So future, I'd probably do that. Voxel's another big one that everyone likes. Voxel's like a huge one actually. But honestly, I'm going to leave mine on future. Cause it's kind of nice. But um, clock time. Any day of the time you'd like. This is what it look like at night. That's pretty nasty. And then let's get the sun rays to be like that. And yeah. Fog color. Ooh, fog, yes. Let's do 100. Fog end. 1,000, 10,000, like that. There we go. And bam. Now, when you hit play, it's going to be looking all weird and all crazy. But um, this is just a simple tutorial on how to make your game more realistic. I was like, mine as well. And I'm going to do another, like, tons of more simple tutorials and, like, bubble chats and everything. But I can tell fucking something's blinding you. But this is perfect for, like, an animal game and all those types of games. So if you need to learn about it, just let me know. Oh, this is not even Anchor Roblox. Come on, you know better. But, um, yeah, this makes your game really nice. Thank you. Feel free to just subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.